Hello everybody and welcome to my new video and this one I want to show you the best drones till now in the game and and which setup works fine in combination with the robot with the weapons and the drone. In the end if you like my video please don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Let's start. The first one is the Armadillo drone. On beacon capture, defense points, on deployment, speed, on kill, defense points and when you pimp it up to level 12 on kill, it repairs a portion of its own durability. I use this drone often for fast spots which can capture beacons fast, so when you hit uh, two times a beacon here, in this case, let's try it out, um, then yeah, you get the defense points, you get defense points because of uh, destroying robots and then yeah, you can put on or push your nether in a very good way. It works with other robots too if you have damage setups on it. Keepery works well too and yeah, especially the Skyros works very well too because you can capture beacons and get a lot of defense points and then the enemy don't even like you anymore because yeah, because of the defense points you are close to immortal. So, yeah, and this is the reason why I choose the Armadillo for one of the best drones in my mind in the game now. So many robots become stronger and stronger and here you can see in combination with my teammates, good weapon setups, we can push and get all the beacons here and I'm very fast to help my teammates on other beacons and so we can destroy the enemies fast together and at the bonus you will get defense points and in a lot of games i see this kind of players using the armadillo drone but not only the armadillo drone we have some others too let's go to the second one the paralyzer drone lockdowner i really like this skill of this drone additional damage on repair unit damage on repair unit defense this is a drone for everything in my mind because of the lockdowner you can use for example the Kipri or the Seraph and stop the enemy and because of the damage output more damage output and uh, using while healing and the defense point it is a great drone here yeah, for angler you can use it too and here in my um, opinion I use it for the Kipri in combination with the spear weapons a very deadly setup and um yeah against skyros against robots like angler against uh, everyone this setup is crazy crazy good and um yeah let's try to get this eight ball here the damage output is cool don't need to use my damage increase here of the drone and we got him down help my teammates with the Kibri and here we go let's try to get this body down yeah this works well okay there's a Loki and there will be some other robots joining to Kibris and then you can see how strong this setup can be against those at first I thought here oh my goodness that will be strange here now because uh, there are two Kibris with a good amount of damage here and someone in the air. This one in the air is going back. I will go back here to hold this beacon here on the enemy's line and yeah, help my teammate from distance. You can do this with this drone in a very good way. Number three is the big drone on high damage stealth modus. Additional damage on this drone every time. On first hit stealth modus and on repair fix some durability points back 40,000 here in this case and this is very helpful playing this one on on a Capri on Engner a robot with a good amount of damage output and a robot yeah with a lot of defense points here like I said using it on my Engner this time with the shotguns and it works very well because of the stealth modus and the damage output. This is very great against Titans. So let's try to get this Falcon here down. Very strong robot here. I didn't notice uh, this one came back or have a comeback here. 
great bro, you did it well. I have to pimp up my nuclear amplifier a little bit here on this build and then we can get this one maybe down but this was a huge lag in this case I didn't get him down. So here is the first titan join us and uh, yeah I can use my ability here again I'm in stealth modus now and we can get this titan down with my beautiful angler here. Let's go for a second chance here maybe to get this typhoon the shield. Uh, getting a shield down by those weapons is nice um, because the damage output is so immense. I got here again my defense points. Stealth modus was active. Using my mothership here again. Get me some defense points and healing and a huge shield. And then we are going for two titans, ladies and gentlemen. Two titans and let's see what we can do. He face shift me, okay, this is not a problem, I will wait for this guy. And then boom, 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 we got the first titan down. And especially this build is lovely and yeah, as a tip, you can use it very well against titans. Number four is the newest drone, Dal Toki. This one is amazing too, with uh, an inbuilt laser weapon, 800 meter range, additional damage on model use speed movement increase on model use damage. I really prefer this drone for long range weapons here like the new ones uh, Harvanger and all the other ones over 800 meter range uh, because yeah this drone have a uh, range of 800 meters so this is perfect or the drone is perfect for this build here. On the Seraph, um, yeah you can be very great with this one. Uh, as you can see, I play two of those 800 meter range weapons. And yeah, in this case here, I play a little bit defense because we have a lot of um, yeah, good enemies here playing well together with uh, Skyros and everything. The cool thing is with those long range weapons, you do damage uh, on short range too. A decent damage as you can see here. And we have then three times a laser because of the drone here too. The damage increase is great on this one and you can save beacons. Seraph is again a cool robot in my mind, a very strong one to win games. You can do a lot of damage to the enemy here, to the stealth robots too. The only thing you need is a robot you can uh, do damage and then the inbuilt weapon will do damage to the stealth modus robots too. Another cool thing is that uh, against yeah, Titans this build is great too, so um, yeah, I think the last drone for us, uh, I will show you after this one here, uh, is a little bit unexpected, but for me the best choice too, and hopefully you like my 5 best drones for 2023, here in the early beginning in this year, we will see what will happen in the next time, which kind of drones we will uh, have in this year, maybe there will be some one is on the test server available so yeah try it out another cool drone another nice tier 4 drone and uh yeah for now this are uh my setup or my drone setup at all again here we go with shield breaker um i really like to use the shield breaker on the seraph waiting till my ability is back using the shield breaker and now look this is a capri we all know this is an hp monster and um yeah he going to stealth modus so I choose another enemy here and like I said with um, those weapons 800 meter range you can do a lot of damage and yeah the enemies can't hide against you in this case here. You always find an enemy you can shoot to again we got him down here he's capturing the beacon okay the first titans are on the battlefield let's go this one wants me here now we got him to last stand and then we are flying to the other side because helping my teammates at first on the other side to capture the beacons here against other um, titans and the Skyros is still available. This is crazy. I really think about to do another Skyros uh, video here maybe yeah, with the new drone setup. Um, yeah, we will see. Okay, the enemy is strong here. They, um, they are good. They hit all the beacons. At the end, we will win this game here. 
uh, I want to show you only the Seraph gameplay um, because we have all our Titans and as you can see look at this against a Titan a very strong Titan we do a good amount of damage a really good amount of damage close to 25% down to his HP and yeah hiding behind the wall sometimes it's needed to play a little bit in defense mode um, because you have strong enemies which play very powerful and aggressive and then you can bot out them in this case stay strong um, get a lot of bots down look at this we <laughs> got immediately down after spawn and here is number five the glider unexpected but uh, tier 4 and very useful after phase shift um, some healing on deployment durability after phase shift more speed and on low durability defense i choose this drone in this case here for my angler and it is very impressive as you can see um after phase shift i will get the bonuses here too so we have two times the bonuses because of yeah, pressing the phase shift button and yeah the ability of the robot works very well but on other robots like Kibri and so on it works very well too so you have immediately every time uh, phase shift and um, I really like to use it you have to plan your steps um, then you can be very strong against the enemy and uh, they don't see me here so run fast to the enemy and because of the pilot when I destroy a robot I will get immediately the um, ability back here from uh, the Agna robot. That is very helpful too. We hold this beacon and now let's try to get this body down here. Boom. <laughs> oh, this was a huge, huge lag. Oh no, it was his ability. Here we go. Boom. Double wobble. And we got them together down. So staying behind cover because we have a Seraph in the air. Not long anymore. Playing every time clever because now after the drone work it's much more complicated to win games I think. But when you have good team members here shout out to UN this time. Um, yeah it is a lot of fun. Jumping BMF with um, blinding weapon set up. Let's try to get this body here. Wait, because of the shield. Boom, triple, and we got immediately our um, phase shift ability back. I really like this. Okay, hopefully I can help you here a little bit. Let me know in the comments what do you think about it. Maybe you prefer another drone. Nebula, not anymore the best drone in my mind. Um, it is good to have, but as you saw, the shield... Um, isn't so high you have to pin it up then you have five seconds of uh, purple shield but at all yeah i prefer all these others here with the abilities so thank you everyone for watching my video here hopefully i can help you a little bit with the drone choice and yeah don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel bye bye and good luck i really wanted to get it right trying to find some balance in my life i never really put up a fight Now I'm losing sleep